Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn on how to draw the intersection or interpenetration of two solids. And in our case, we have two pipes. We have the larger pipe and the smaller pipes intersecting. So we have a question and it says figure 2 shows two intersecting pipes. Copy the given views and draw. We have the complete plan. We have line of intersection and part D, the shape of the hole on diameter 50 pipe. Okay, this part C, the development. So in my previous videos, I've shown you how to draw the development of a cone and of a cylinder. So I'm going to handle part A, B, and D. So we are going to copy these views the way it is. So we have the height of the larger pipe as 80 millimeters we've been given that the diameter of the larger pipe is 50 millimeters the diameter of this smaller pipe is 40 millimeters we have this distance is 30 millimeters and we have this angle is 30 degrees and then from the base to this other pipe we have is 10 millimeters so from there I'm going to complete my plan so for us to complete our plan i'm going to drop all this part so remember in our plan we are going to see this circle the larger circle in our larger pipe we have this line and we have this other circle which looks like an oval from the plan so we are going to complete that. So I'm going to drop the lines downwards up to the center. Drop it. And finally, from that other face. So I'm going to extend my center line. This is my center line. I'm going to extend it. So that is my center line. Remember, I also have the center line of this smaller pipe. At that point, we have that. So from this point, remember, we have a circle on this other part. So I can draw a semicircle from the center. This is the center line of our semicircle or the circle. And draw the semicircle. After drawing my semicircle, I'm going to extend this center line to cut our semicircle the circumference then from there I'm going to divide this semicircle into six equal parts so I have that So we have, we have divided, so we are going to connect to the center of our semicircle. I'm going to draw lines. So we have divided, so we can label, we can name here as 0.3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, and finally 3. So we have all those 6 points. Now, if you view from the top, that is the plan, this point 3 will come to the center where point O is or point 0. So in our plan, I'll also draw this semicircle of radius 20 millimeters because we've been given diameter as 40 millimeters. So I'll have so I have this semicircle. So 
so now from the semicircle we have this line so i'm going to draw it to touch the circumference of my circle that way also have this end again i'm going to divide this semicircle into six equal parts into six equal parts so we already have that i join it to the center of the semicircle Remember I said if you view from the plan you have you will have your point three coming at the center so you'll have your S3 and then you'll have zero at the top and at the bottom. So we'll have your S2, 1, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So those are our points. Now again we are going to draw these lines from point two. A parallel line to this from point two inwards so remember just that degrees so I'm going to use the same so we are going to project all those lines from point one Point zero, we have it at that. We also have this other point one. We have point two, and finally we have point three. So we have all those points. Now, from the diameter of my semicircle, I'm going to drop lines from the diameter. Remember, this is point two. This is point one. Point one, and then we have zones point zero, point one, point two, and three. So we have here S2, we have one, we have zero, we have one, we have two, and finally three. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop it downwards, and also uh, extend point one, point two horizontally. So I'll begin by extending this one horizontally point one horizontally point two horizontally to touch the circumference of my larger circle horizontally and finally point one horizontally you can complete this so I'm going to drop. So from point three, we have this line of point three to touch our line three. We have this line three at that point. You also have this line three to touch point three. So we have two points. Then we have our point number two, dropping it downwards. So remember, it touches our line 2, we have that at the top, and we have another 2 at the bottom. So we have it there. Then we have point number 1. So number 1 touches line 1, we have that line 1, and at the bottom we have line 1. Then we have point zero, we already have the line. So we have zero at the top, we have zero at the bottom. Then we have this other point one. So dropping 
where it touches our line one we have it here have line one and we also have it there then we have point number two from point two downwards so we have point two and also another point two and then finally we have point three at that point so we are going to join on all the points freehand so I'm going to join using my HB so after joining your points you have that is the final product so we are completing our plan so you have that line remember also your circle should be dark And we also have this. So that is our complete plan. Now from there, we want to show the curve of intersection. So now from this point, from the circumference of our circle, we have these horizontal lines from 0, 1, and so forth. So where our line 0 touches the circumference of our circle, we are going to draw a vertical line to touch line zero on the upper part so i'll use my t square and my set square so we have line zero remember this is zero the vertical where it touches the circumference of our circle I'm going to draw a line so a vertical line where it touches our line zero we'll have our point so we have that as our first point. We also have this line 1. Where it touches the circumference of our circle, we'll draw a vertical line. Where it touches line 1, we have this line 1. Where it touches line 1, we have 1 on the upper part. And we also have 1 on the lower part. Remember this 1 and this 1 is in the same vertical line so there is no need of drawing the lower part so we have two where it touches this where it touches the circumference draw a vertical line so we have this line two the vertical line where it touches our point two have it there and on the lower side have it there and finally we have point number three we have point three so we have point three where it touches line three have it there and finally there so we have all the points so i'm going to join all the points using my hb pencil So we already have our curb of intersection this is now our complete front elevation we have the curb of intersection we have our complete plan and we have the lines of intersections these are the lines so thank you for watching if you have any question feel free to inbox us thank you for supporting us